back in June, I was expecting company, so I had made a little menu and started cooking. So Marlene, you ate? Yep, I'm full. Show me the muscles again. Oh. <laughs> You're so <laughs> foolish. <laughs> All right, Sage, open the door, Sage. Sage. Open the door, Sage. Open the door. <laughs> Here's Tyranny Hi. by herself. Oh my god. But we're joining her. Oh, I bought ketchup because you know we both obsess over ketchup. Mm -hmm. I can't eat potatoes without ketchup. <laughs> All right, what am I going to eat? A um, little bit of everything. Easy. But you're talking about like a movie where you, there's like spirits, people, and spirits ghosts, and movies. That, ah! No. I need that. Absolutely not. I don't I want any that. parts of that. And you that know what really ruined that for me? <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> Beetlejuice was scary. Beetlejuice was scary. It was a great movie, but it ruined yeah. it for me because I was just like, you're telling me that there's this spirit that lives in the attic and nobody is trying to get him out of there? Like, you know? But he was stupid. He was stupid, but it Memorial. Oh, Memorial? Are you going to make a vlog with that? Yeah, vlog. I was telling Tyranny, I'm always like a month behind. Mm -hmm. So I have I didn't put it up yet because that's the same time my mom was here, mm -hmm. right? Oh, that just happened. Yeah. It was pretty warm that day and because I had been cooking early, I was pretty tired. It was about 6 p.m. And I think Tyranny was on the phone at this point trying to find out if the other ladies were still coming. They had been stuck in the hair salon. Oh, <laughs> Actually, my husband was nice enough to help me frost these cakes. <laughs> I made the frosting and yeah, I couldn't finish it. And so he did it for me. So I said, just as long as it has some sort of height. Because mm -hmm. I couldn't find my piping. And I think in, with this mom... Close your mouth. Oh my God, close your mouth like the dog knows to close her mouth? Yes, you know. Look, we're both wearing yellow. Yes, that's because we're amazing and awesome <laughs> and full of sunshine. <laughs> Tell them where to find you. Oh, you can find me on Instagram at, at work with tyranny or at business is sweet, S U I T E. What is it that you do? I am a. <laughs> I, I am a lot. Put her on the spot. Um, I'm an executive creative. I own a boutique firm called Sweet Spot, where I basically represent bloggers, creators, and influencers of color, where we connect their dope messaging with dope opportunities and dope brands to take their business to the next level. So you must go and find cool. Yay! <laughs> you must go, go. You must go and find her. You must go find her. What is wrong with you, Marlene? That is fun. Yeah, it's hilarious how it comes out really sharp. Mm -hmm. Meet Bella. Bugs <laughs> <laughs> going it's in our titties. Me. And then they're like, girl, they're Wow, see now that, see this is who you have to support and value. <laughs> wow, she came all the way from Charlotte. She did. See? She had her hair done too at the same salon. I did. So but apparently I they were hijacked by someone. Yes, I left though. Yeah. That so was a lot. Look who showed up at this ungodly hour. <laughs> I mean, it's still early. It's okay. You can drag us. It is fine. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I got to see. Did you warm it up? Nope. No, ew, that's nasty. No, she didn't warm it up. Say, says night night. She been eating my macaroni and cheese <laughs> right before she got a beaten from her mother. Ah, oh, you feel heavy, booby. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Night night. <laughs> Very pretty. <laughs> Can I touch? I can't help myself. <laughs> That's cute. Good morning, good afternoon. So I woke up to this. Okay, this is my coffee table. <laughs> this scene looks like a crime scene or maybe a drunken night scene with a bunch of women. Do y'all see this?
All right, clearly we had a good time, right? I appreciate all the ladies that came out and all the talking and eating that we did, but oh my God, I was not ready for this when I woke up today. I said, what? Wow. So I feel like some strawberries and blueberries for brunch. Okay, so I'm gonna have that with some whipped cream. Ooh, does that not look good? All right, and then we're gonna top it off with a strawberry, just like that. All right, let's go eat. I got a tart also with me right here. I decided to chill it first. Now I'm going outside. Favorite spot for breakfast. I already started eating. I'm out here enjoying my delicious tart. This is what I had yesterday. So, how are y'all doing? I have had the busiest last few weekends. <laughs> Literally every weekend I've had people over. My kids' friends, my mother from out of town, my blogger friends, literally every weekend. So I've been doing a lot of cooking, <laughs> a lot of entertaining, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Because when I lived in the small town, in the country place, I really didn't have a lot of friends. I had a lot of people that knew me and a lot of people that I saw on a daily basis, but they were all patients. And my thing is, I try to separate the two. You know, but there are patients, people I treat, that is my work, but these people, as friendly as they are, I would not have considered them my friends. They were not people that I was going to eat with, or as they say, break bread with. You know, you, you kind of need a separation. So I always felt very isolated there. So I really enjoy living in this area where I am able to connect with so many different people. And then I have my son in college and he has friends and I'm, you know, I love inviting them over to eat because some of them are so far away from their parents. So I feel like we've become sort of a surrogate uh, parent, if you will. You know, just like the young lady, I, I've always told her, I've told her on several occasions, don't feel like a stranger. My house is your house. I know your parents are far away and I'm sure they would have loved to have seen you, but they're not able to. So um, always feel free to come here and have something to eat, especially on Sundays. But um, yeah, I just really enjoy socializing as a whole because I just, I'm the type of person where I love people around me. I love being able to give something of myself and, you know, there are people who enjoy being by themselves. That's not me. I mean, I like being by myself like I'm by myself right now talking to you, but that's only for a short period. Um... <laughs> Mm. and I count my best blessings I've had a lot of people mentor me I've had a lot of people you know support me and I feel like it's my duty to give back but when it comes to hosting and entertaining that has nothing to do with duty and obligation that is really just more of something I enjoy so yeah, you know, anyway, let me eat my berries, let me eat my berries. And God knows, I don't know when I'm gonna lose weight. Even though, doesn't this count as fruit? This is fruit, right? So this is not too bad, this is, this is healthy. It's strawberries and blueberries and a little whipped cream. Won't kill anybody. Mm. Oh my goodness, I was supposed to take a picture of this for my Instagram page, y'all. <laughs> so much so for that. When I think of Kenton, he's such a good 
good sport. He's really a great sport. Because I think naturally, well, you probably picked up naturally, he's not necessarily the most outgoing person. He's fairly reserved at times. I mean, he can talk, talk quite a bit one-on-one -on -one if he gets to know you or if he's comfortable. But he's not one of those people that loves to be around a lot of people all the time. So I really appreciate when he goes out of his way to make my friends feel comfortable. You know, blueberries are really, really good for you. <laughs> As you can see, my hibiscus flowers, most of them, the uh, open ones have fallen off. But there's several buds out here. Lots of buds. So, more flowers to come. I absolutely love being outside. I don't know, man. I just finished clearing up the living room. This is natural light. It's actually a little dark in here, even though it looks fairly bright. Let's see what it looks like with the ring light on. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. No, I actually like it with natural light. Right, my son Kareem is making some fish sauce, dipping sauce. It's actually called Nukmam. So he's got lime in there. He's got, it's probably not the most traditional place he's doing it into. It's got lime um, right here and garlic. He pounded the garlic in there. And there is the fish sauce. Um, I know my mother-in-law would be horrified that we don't have Thai chili peppers to go in there. So we're using a little bit of sriracha and also what's that? That other pepper, oh my God, that pepper there is like fire. That's even hotter than the Thai chili pepper. So he's only gonna use a teaspoon in there. And then a little bit of water, and if I haven't said already, sugar. So we use what we have. It'll come out pretty close. And then my husband over there thinks he's like Mr. Hustler. What is that? What are those people? What are those people in um... the magic mic? <laughs> oh my God, you guys. And then tomorrow he's going to be like, why'd you put that on there? Why'd you put that on there? Yet he's out here doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got, got to keep the magic. Is that how we keep the magic? Keep the magic. Oh, my God. See, our kids are so used to our foolishness and shenanigans that they don't even bat an eye. They're just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, Kareem, your dad's a piece of work. <laughs> what a difference a few years makes. That's Kareem when he was about 12. Here he is now, 17, digging his nose. Really? Yeah, this is Kareem. How many years later? That looked like we were, well, clearly in Laurenburg. You might have been how old? How old did you think you were? 12 or 13. Nah, I don't even think you were 12 or 13. Maybe. And now, y'all, he is, oh, why did I say y'all? He is. 17 years old, tall and lanky, and his face looks different. Come closer, Kareem. Come closer. I don't see your... Oh, the light's bad. <laughs> Kareem is killing it. Kareem got 37 so far, and his dad's got 27. He's in the lead. He's got great hand-eye coordination. What? Kareem, you did that? He's got 38. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> So yeah, usually it would go, the nook mum or the fish sauce mix would go in a bowl like this. We do have bowls like this, but we thought putting it in a um, little jar would help so that if we don't use it all, it's already in a storage container that can go in the fridge. So that's the potent fish sauce going in there. The three crab sauce. You put this on your finger. If you're not used to it, your finger going to smell like. But that's what it's going to, I was trying to find a nice way to say it, but no, there is no nice way to say it. It's pungent. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not a, it's, it's just a very, it's a, it's a fish. Uh, it smells like, but when you don't, when you're, not accustomed to, when you're not accustomed not to it. But, <laughs> come on, man. Well, I mean, once it's mixed in stuff, it doesn't smell like, but, but if you get, 
get it on your finger. <laughs> if you get it on your finger. <laughs> Man, yeah. That's not All right. right. No, no disrespect. I mean, it's it ta it's tasty it's when just, mixed it's, right. It's very pungent. You just very have to, pungent, it's right? You just have to be it's acquired. But this is it's acquired, you know. But I, I but some. Let me see. So, mom in California, what does right. it look like? It may not look quite right. I don't know that it looks quite right, but. No. Uh, it looks like Kool-Aid, right? Well, it sure don't taste like Kool-Aid, and I don't even drink Kool-Aid. It, it needs a little more acid to it. Oh, yeah? Do they usually put vinegar in it? Yeah, we use uh, 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 rice vinegar. Oh, okay. To add, to add a little acid, but this, this, I was asked, this is apple vinegar. You can use rice, little, rice vinegar, right? Yeah, or apple cider vinegar to add a little acidity. And that's the chopstick he's using to stir it. Does it need more lime? Does it need more sugar? Well, that's what the acidity helps to replace it. Now, you can't put that spoon back in there, no, though. No, of course not. Yeah, it tastes fine. It tastes better. You can add a little more sugar if you want to. Give it a little more sweetness, but other than that, it's okay. And over here, we have some Asian greens. These cook super fast. They just get steamed really quickly. Kenton's paired them with some bean sprouts. So these white stuff are bean sprouts right here. And it's just going to be a quick steam slash stir fry. And over here, Kenton has some tofu that he's going to fry crispy. it wouldn't be an Asian household if there wasn't rice. I think these are some chopped sliced garlic that Ken has to go with the vegetables, right? Yeah. You're going to saute these? Yeah. Okay. So you guys, we haven't seen Kenton in the kitchen, but he does cook. Um, I was thinking that maybe he will give me a little bit of a cooking tutorial to make the uh, Vietnamese egg rolls, which you call, what do you call them, Ken? Chao Yao. Chao Yao. So I'm thinking one of these days I gotta make a video about foods Africans and Asian people like or have in common. And one of them is that we like dried fish. Dried fish. That's one thing we have in common. <laughs> that looks real third world, no, doesn't it, Khalid? You think you want to eat that? No, I don't want to eat that. Nah, it tastes good. You'll no. be surprised. It tastes no. good. <laughs> Look at that deliciousness. Sesame seeds. What do you know about sesame seeds? Africans do not put sesame seeds on their fish. <laughs> well, Asians do. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This delicious mess is haha, <laughs> the beginnings of some creamy bread pudding and I like to put cherries in mine. I know it doesn't look like it, but when we come back, you will see. Make sure you check out my recipe on how to make bread pudding. Straight out the oven. Ha! <laughs> is gonna go down. <laughs> Good morning, Raynella. This is her before. Even though you guys can agree she looks pretty cute without anything else done. No makeup, natural hair pulled back, but she's about to get herself hooked up with some braids. <laughs> She has softish hair. 4C, but soft. But you can tell she's growing out her relaxer. So eventually all of these ends will have to cut off. But you let it fall off on its own. 
but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Looking like a ballerina. Watching the greatest showman. Watching the greatest showman. Yep. He's all done. Now we start the fun part. Don't hate me cause I'm beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna go outside to show you what it looks like in the sun. Couldn't see how red it was, but look how red the hair is. All right, flip, flip, flip. <laughs> yes. And the whole thing is we had to make sure the parting right at the top doesn't show too much. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. And she managed to put it up. Look at her. Model, model, model. <laughs> model, model. <laughs> model, model. Yeah, looks cute. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> Style by Habiba. <laughs> Style by Habiba. <laughs> and it matches my glasses. Yeah. Goes well with my skin tone. Mm -hmm. Goes well with the dress. Yep. Get a little baby doll dress. So folks, thanks for watching. Didn't Rainella look really cute? Yes, she did. I hope she had a great time with her family back in the Virgin Islands. And here in the U.S., we will be here, Kenton and Habibas. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. See you soon. Bye.